Now to new information after police say they have now captured a serial rapist. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Matt Austin. Investigators tell us the man attacked at least two women last month, but there may be more victims out there. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is live in Ocala for us. Mike, some very observant police officers helped catch this guy. Uh, that's right, Matt. In their day-to-day -day interactions with the community, these police officers just happened to notice that there was this rather tall, rather large guy, bigger than me, riding his bicycle around this neighborhood here. When three women came forward claiming that a man matching that similar description had raped them, officers tracked the guy down. On September 26, this photo was posted on Ladarius Holmes' Facebook page showing him getting ready for work at a fast food restaurant. Later that night, investigators say Holmes carjacked a woman at this Ocala gas station and forced her to drive to this dead-end road where he raped her. The victim described her attacker to Ocala police. He's a very large man. I think he's about 6'7", 290 pounds. Uh, a distinct look. Very distinct. Just 24 hours earlier, police say a man matching that same physical description grabbed a woman by her hair, dragged her behind this church, and assaulted her at gunpoint. He was very aggressive. Uh, it was very violent in nature. By chance, officers remembered encountering a similarly large man who was living at this motel near the rape scenes. Although police never had a problem with Ladarius Holmes before, after running his name through a computer, they discovered he was wanted in Tennessee for armed robbery, so authorities took him into custody. Weeks later, investigators say they received DNA test results linking Holmes to the two rapes. Police say they were contacted by a third woman who says she too was raped by a man who resembled Holmes. Authorities are still waiting for the DNA test results in that case. Meanwhile, Holmes remains locked up in Memphis, Tennessee tonight, but he'll eventually be brought back here to Ocala to face charges in those two sexual assaults. Reporting live in Ocala, Mike DeForest, News 6. All right.